Google has finally launched the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. The phone has got few changes in its hardware and software, but mostly the Pixel 7 Pro is all about software. So let's take a look at the top 5 software features of this handset. Before we proceed, please hit that subscribe button. Last year, Google introduced Face Unblur, which can automatically sharpen blurry faces on human subjects. Basically, the phone can capture two photos at the same time, and if the phone detects that you have taken a photo with a blurry face, it just uses the face from the shorter exposure taken by the ultra-wide sensor into the rest of the photo that was taken by the primary sensor. Now Google has taken this thing to a whole new level. Instead of just the blurring the face, it can now fix the whole image. And most importantly, with the Pixel 7 Pro, you can now deeper the photos you've taken in the past. All you need to do is use Google Photos and Photo Deeper. So now you can make your even worse taken images into the good ones, magic isn't it? Google also said that this will be exclusive to Pixel 7 for some time, but will be available to everyone who uses Google Photos. Unlike most DSLR cameras, smartphones have a tiny sensor that doesn't allow for that professional shallow depth of field that gives any video a cinematic quality. That's where software and AI come in handy. The Pixel 7 Pro uses AI to blur the background in a video for that cinematic look. The thing is, cinematic mode is not always perfect. If an object moves through suddenly, the camera will lose focus and break the illusion of a blurry background. Wealth says are the things that made a smartphone a smartphone, unlike many other phones available in the market, that are completely a wastage of money. No matter what people and critics say, Google phones have proved to be game changers in many areas with their pure software experience. The Pixel 7 Pro also has a face unlock option. Now, Google says that this is only for unlocking the phone. Even though it uses the front camera and machine learning, it's still not safe to use for banking and payment apps, as it's not a 3D scanner like the one on the iPhones. But still a good alternative to the sluggish fingerprint scanner on the Pixel 6. Which I think Google should really work on. Anyway another new camera feature is the macro focus. As the name suggests, you can now take close-up macro photos, and this feature uses the upgraded 21% wider ultra-wide angle lens. Speaking of the camera, Google has also increased the telephoto zoom range on the Pixel 7 Pro from 4x to 5x. You can also do a 30x hybrid zoom. Google has also improved speech recognition and video recordings, reducing background noise with the help of the new Tensor chipset, which is one of the main feature of any smartphone. Pixel 7 Pro retains all the existing features from the Pixel 6, such as Magic Eraser, Motion Mode, Real Tone, Light Translator and Interpreter, Long software support to be specific, 5 years of security updates, and 3 years of operating system updates. Which are really very important for any smartphone. As updates keep your phone away from lagging and gives you a smoother experience even after years of use. Out of all mainstream flagships, the Pixel 7 Pro is priced very competitively at $899, 300 less than the competition first to consider for all the latest tech. There is also a feature that will make you think twice before buying an iPhone, we will talk about that in our next video, so don't miss it out. Will you buy Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, do let me know in the comments section below. That's all for this video. With that being said, I'll see you guys later, and don't forget to subscribe.